What's going on, everybody? It's Sports Bricks back in the action once again, and here we are with another week of building this mock. I've been kind of putting it off because rock work kind of terrifies me, but here we are, and we're going to start like going at it. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. So I have the almost entire right side cleared off except for where I'm planning for the like dwarf spider droids to go and just a vague area of where I want the AAT. Do keep in mind, I'm gonna have about a bunker roughly in this area. And I have that built as you saw in the previous video. I should mark that down. I gotta double check and see how big that is. So we're gonna go do that real quick and I'm gonna mark it down here. Also seeing this restocked looks so beautiful. All of that filler brick. There we go. So it is a 12 by 12 base plate essentially. And what I'm gonna do is in front of it, I'm gonna blend that rock work up into the bunker that you saw in the previous video. I do have quite a few pieces and I wanna see how far they get. I have no clue. I might need to make another rock work order, but we'll see. Let's just get straight into the time lapse. So as you can see here, I've made quite a bit of progress. It's about, I'd say three times the height of a minifigure, but it's not like as far as I would like it to be. I do have several parts still for the mountain. I'm just gonna take a quick break and I'll come back to do it, like doing this at a later time. It is eating up my filler bricks as you can see. I'm just doing an essential like step method I'm relying on the plates that were down there to hold it up, but this thing, it does wobble a little bit, but it's not gonna move. It's sturdy. The next day. So it's a new day and I didn't do a lot of recording during this building just because it was so tedious. I just wanted to knock it out and we got quite a bit of the wall done and I'm excited to show it off. Bam, look at that. That is looking real good. So in my little sketch up, you can kind of see it right there but I wanna have a landing pad here supporting the AAT, like I said, and by no means is this gonna be the final. I just wanted to get a little mock-up just to see if it would work, and it has a pretty good scale. It's gonna be far enough away from the bunker, like I said, it's gonna be there. I'm running out of support pieces, so that's gonna have to wait for the little side of the mountain, but the big side is pretty much done. That is looking really good. For my first time doing rock work, I don't think this looks pretty bad at all all i think it looks good there are some little poking out colors that i'm not a fan of but if you step back you take a look you're not gonna really notice i should go back and fix it but this is gonna be a pain to take apart is it worth the excellence yes we'll see if i get to it and i thought i got a lot of filler bricks and they are all right here that is crooked, I just noticed too. So by no means is this gonna be the final production of this landing pad, like I said. I do imagine it sticking out just a little bit, not too much, but probably about here-ish. And here's the scale of the wall compared to a minifigure. It's about six inches tall, which is like on the lower end of what I was thinking, but I think it does look good. Anything higher might look a little goofy. I know the wall, like the, the Atlantic wall at Normandy wasn't too tall anyways. So I just think that's a good scale. So remember, there are going to be droid defenses along the base of the wall. There's going to be B2 super battle droids as well as a couple dwarf spider droids. I don't know if I want to have it on the base of the bunker that I have. It's going to be a 12 by 12 little base plate right here. That's why I have it hollowed out. And I don't know how high it goes compared to the wall. I'll have to look it up on the studio app. Once again, I'm getting a little low on pieces, but 
we persist. And one thing I might do, it's kind of like appealing to me right now. I have this little gap here. I don't know how big of a gap I want, but like I said, this is gonna be the second battle that is taking place at this location. The droids attacked, overtook a Republic base. Now the Republic is coming back. So I think it'd be cool to have kind of like an underground prison here. This is something I didn't have in mind until I was building this, but I think an underground prison here would be kind of cool showing like some of the remaining defenders of the Republic kind of like doing a little jailbreak scene. Not 100% like sure if I'll do that. I gotta see how we're looking with the rest of the mock, but that is kind of a bucket list thing to do for this mock. Leave in the comments below. Let's see what your opinion is. Please and thank you. Slapping down a couple figures kind of shows what I'm sh like trying to go off of. Got the Republic rushing up the beach. I destroyed the um, door spider droid. I don't know if I want that destroyed quite yet because this is the beginning stages. I think both of them should be operational, but we'll see. We'll see how far we're progressing. Maybe these guys are reinforcing the efforts already up on the beach. Maybe they're just dropping off fresh troops that are already progressing instead of like taking the beach already. We shall see. I do like the guy over in the actual crater. So maybe they're progressed up to here, which means that like spider droid might be destroyed. I don't plan on having many, if any, super battle droids up on the actual cliff. I think they should all be here since they're kind of the heavier units. They're gonna be the first line of defense. All my B2s that I pulled out of the bag when I had to set up everything, they're gonna be up on the actual cliff, kind of being like their last line. There's gonna be some here that are gonna be destroyed across the beach, like I said, because it's the first, or this is the second battle. There was a, a battle before. So yeah, all in all, just going down, taking a little sweeping motion here. The battle is progressing and I am loving the looks of it so far. This is looking better than I think I ever would have imagined. It was such a good call to get these Clone Army Customs figures. They look so good in the midst of the battle. I'm gonna have to order the pieces for both the bunker and the landing pad. I don't know how I'm gonna incorporate the landing pad quite yet. I don't know if it's gonna be raised or if it's gonna just be sticking out as far as the landing pad's built. I think it should be raised and only stick out a tiny bit, like I said. So it might have to be kind of like the two by two bracket modified up. So I'll have to kind of progress that up. So we'll see. Top of the mountain, we'll have to wait. And just let me know what your thoughts are on the prison break down here. I can make it a little bit bigger than this, but I don't want to have it spanning the entire back. So just let me know, please. Thank you all for watching this. I know this like episode didn't have a ton of building, but I just, it's rock work. It's tedious. A lot of people don't want to see 10 minutes of time lapse of just building rock work. So I did the like foundation. I showed you what I was doing. I was just sporadically placing the bricks. I was making the support to essentially support it. And then I just cut to the end. So yeah, I just can't believe how good this thing is looking so far. I don't think I was ever gonna build a mock in the first place. And just looking at this thing now, it is making me think that more mocks, even bigger mocks even, will come after this one. So please stay tuned. And if you're new, slap a subscribe down there, leave a like, please. And I see this channel and this mock alone and other mocks going far in the future. So thank you all for the support. I know I'm kind of ranting right now, kind of rambling on, but it does mean a lot that you guys and girls all decide to watch this. So thank you. As always, this has been Bortz Brick signing out once again. Stay cool, stay awesome, and see you in the next video. Peace.